Good evening, this is Ilana Yoba, and I wanted to start having regular Saturday night Facebook lives uh, talking about uh, personal development. As you probably know, I'm quite passionate about uh, health and uh, getting health back to people. Um, as a matter of fact, I've heard that I think Rambam says that if you actually help to restore someone's help, it's like returning a gift or uh, returning something lost to another person. It's a positive commandment that is uh, requested of Jews. So, um, and so I'm very passionate about helping people to regain health, love of life, um, be more active, realize their full potential. But besides that, I'm really passionate about people becoming the best versions of themselves. I think that um, if people don't change, right, um, then there is, um, they, they, may be, they may have a lot of hidden potential that even they are not aware, and they can become uh, maybe, sometimes it takes 20, 30 years to discover your hidden talents or something that you possess. So I'm really passionate about helping people to discover some uniqueness about themselves. And I personally believe that the only way to do that is through introspection, through learning, and through getting to know yourself. So I just uh, had a post. I am um, going to publish a newsletter every week that will contain a quote of the week, a healthy habit of the week, um, and uh, how to feed your mind. I personally read a lot of books that I felt like impacted my life. So I'll be sharing my list and some other people's lists. I follow a lot of uh, smart people uh, that, uh, that helped me to grow and I am still work in progress and I hope that you guys are uh, also taking time to self-discover. And in that newsletter, I will also, ha also have a riddle, because I believe in the training brain. I will have the uh, healthy recipe that I encourage people to learn, and um, perhaps some self-awareness tests. So uh, if you would like to receive that newsletter, send me an email or send me a text via messenger with your email address, and I'll gladly add you. Hi, Dave. So... Um, Today I wanted to talk specifically about the book 12 Pillars by Jim Ron and Chris Widener. And uh, the first chapter uh, that was here, it's a, basically a, a younger guy meets an older guy. Uh, he gets stuck on the road and his life seems miserable to him. He's in sales, makes $40,000. He has a wife that is somewhat distant from him, two children, but no connection. He feels like his life is going nowhere. So he meets this great mentor that will prove to become his great mentor. And um, it's, a, it's a big house with 12 pillars in it. And um, the premise of the story, the guy needs help from this older guy and he, he comes to him and they just start talking. And one of the first advices of the pillar number one says the only way things are going to change for you is when you change so specifically i highlighted a couple of things here but um it says look everything sucks and then charlie says you, uh, mr davis says every life form seems to strive to its maximum except human beings how tall will a tree grow as tall as it possibly can. Human beings, on the other hand, have been given the dignity of choice. They can choose to be all or they can choose to be less. Why not stretch up to the full measure of the challenge and see all you can do? Charlie smiled, proud that he got it just right. And uh, so I guess everybody should ask themselves, what are you going to change that will in turn 
change your life. If you keep on living like the way you are now, you'll continue to produce the same life that you already have. And that's the way it works. And I'm sure there is not one person who can say confidently that everything in my life is perfect, that I don't need changes. Uh, I can definitely speak for myself that I do need to make some changes and I'm work in progress. I'm uh, constantly working on becoming a better version of myself. As you probably all know, because I've been quite vocal and sharing, I lost 55 pounds. Um, and, uh, it, and, but it wasn't that I was unhappy when I was bigger person. I just was unhealthy. And that translated in my behaviors. I didn't uh, go to events. As I wasn't uh, as comfortable meeting new people. And um, I would say that with losing weight and gaining health, I uh, gained a lot more. Um, and now I have a chance to help a lot of other people, which is uh, which seems very um, fulfilling and rewarding to me. I also discovered passion of helping people, like a lot of uh, people who reach out to me with their resumes. I, I work in corporate uh, finance and uh, now I'm a project manager, but people just asking for advice on the resume or some people reaching out to help with their health and uh, build healthy habits, to lose weight, to uh, just to ask some kind of advice. I think I uh, am also a pretty good parent, so if you need some parenting advice I'll be happy to share and um, I will be coming on every Saturday Saturday Facebook live with Ilana Y uh, let me know if you'd like the, to subscribe to my personal newsletter in addition I also have Optavia newsletter and uh, we will go through the 12 pillars book um, in the coming weeks and then I'm sure we'll have a lot of other topics to discuss. If you do have questions to me, let's make this, uh, lives, these lives interactive and I'll be happy to answer your questions. So next time when I go live, next Saturday night, feel free to prep your questions and ask me. Happy and healthy with Alana Y. Blessings to you. Be safe, uh, wash your hands. Uh, uh, don't touch your face so much and try to avoid public places to the extent possible uh, just until this um, epidemic subsides. And um, additionally, the, to all the wonderful women out there, uh, tomorrow is March 8th um, and this is a International Women's Day. I admire so many of you for your courage, perseverance, beauty, creativity. Um, nurturing and everything that the wonderful women that I met in my life bring to this world. Special thanks to my mom, my grandmas, my mother-in-law who I adore and uh, my girls, my two daughters and uh, of course my sister Mila. Thank you for the gift that I just received. Have a wonderful uh, and happy week. Happy with the Lana Y. Bye.